everyone! Welcome back to Wooden Nichols, the movie vlog. Today I am here with Jessica, who I call Jess. <laughs> I never call her Jessica. Um, and we are sitting in front of a harp, maybe because, um, I don't know, it's cool, backdrop. And Jessica's also a musician. She doesn't play the harp, but <laughs> she plays and sings and writes, so it kind of fits. Um, but tell us what school you graduated from. Cal State Northridge. Cal State Northridge. Yes, we're back in California, but mm -hmm. I haven't gone to this school yet, so it's okay. So the reference to Wooden Nichols the movie for this week is that CG has a near-death experience in college. So for my college survivors, your question is, did you ever have a brush with death when you were in school? And college dreamers, you can just listen in for this week. Um, this is a question that I asked a few weeks ago or few months ago, you can check it out, um, check out my response on the blog, but Jess is going to share with us what her experience mm -hmm. is, or was, and I don't know what she's going to tell me, so. <laughs> okay, so it was also my senior year um, of college, and I had had sort of a rough night with my boyfriend the night before, so I was... Uh, waking up the next morning for school and kind of rushing around and was late. So um, I didn't even put any contacts in, just threw my glasses on, put my hair in a ponytail when it was long enough to do that, and um, threw a t-shirt on I was was on my way. So I was listening to Feist, <laughs> which is only important because now I associate <laughs> Feist with this near-death experience. <laughs> and. Um, well, it is important because I'm, I'm driving on this free, freeway, which to get to school, I had to take the 118, which anybody who knows what that is, it's a very straight freeway and it doesn't go anywhere. So, um, very straight freeway and uh, I'm on the road and I was all upset and I'm getting all emotional listening to Feist and I must have gone to like turn down the radio or turn it up or do something with that, but I looked away for a second and I'm in like stop and go traffic, it's um, like 8.30 in the morning. So stop and go traffic, it's going really slow. I'm in the fast lane and um, all of a sudden I look up and I'm about to crash into the car in front of me, like smack, rear end them. So in that moment, it was like one of those moments where you, um, you can't even think about how your thought process went, it just like you almost kind of like go blank for a second when that happens. So that happened and I had like severely turned the wheel, so not like just a little bit, but severely turned the wheel and then was going like diagonal across traffic. And, and when I like realized what had happened, I was like perpendicular to the freeway in the slow lane. So I had like gone diagonal across like four lanes of traffic and was in the slow lane perpendicular and my car wouldn't move. And because I had sort of like blacked out in that moment, I didn't know if I'd hit anyone, but I expected since I'd been in that kind of traffic that I would have. And so my car wouldn't move. I start bawling. <laughs> I don't know what to do with myself. I don't know what just happened. And, um, and I get my car just to the shoulder of the freeway. I was like under an overpass at this point. So I get my car over, it starts back up. It was just shocked for a second. So I pull over and I'm bawling and I don't know like what's happening. And um, two people pull over behind me. And this woman, I'm sitting in my car, I don't know what to do. This woman knocks on my window. And I remember distinctly um, what she looked like just because it's one of those moments where you can't forget. But she had a Bluetooth on, which I noted at just because I was like, she's such a foil to me right now. I'm like a mess, the student that didn't shower and threw her hair up in a ponytail and was all upset. <laughs> and she was like this businesswoman in a suit and with her Bluetooth on. And um, she, I opened up the car door and she didn't say anything to me. She just grabbed me, like pulled me up out of the seat and hugged me. Wow. And um, I had never, and it was just an interesting moment, like two strangers, like, you know, being a part of a situation in which, like, that's exactly what she needed to do, was just hug me for a second and get me to feeling normal or, you know, able then to move my car, you know, or, like, take the next step. So, um, she just was very direct with me and was just like, you, you know, you need to move your car, like, we need to get it to the next, um, you know, off, off of the freeway, we need to get it off the freeway. So we, we got off at the next off-ramp and, um, and 
I'm still upset, <laughs> still totally beside myself. And at this point, I was missing a meeting at school. Um, and so we pulled over. She was like, you know what? It's a beautiful day. It was a sunny California day. It's a beautiful day. You're all in one piece. You didn't hit anybody. Nobody hit you. You're fine. Like, everything is okay, you know? Mm -hmm. And I kept just feeling like there, there must be a reason, you know, mm -hmm. why this sort of thing could have happened. Because there's no way, really, that I could have crossed traffic like that and not gotten hit. Like, it's just a, it's like a miracle mm -hmm. that, that could have happened. So, um, I ended up, you know, pulling myself together. This, like, angel woman, like, went on to work. And um, I went to class that day. And sitting in my chair, you know, just kind of soaking up everything. And, and the teacher called roll like normal, you mm -hmm. know, and called my name, you know, Jessica Kaufman. And I said, here. And there was something about being able to say the word here, like I was present in the seat, like I, you know, nothing bad had happened to me, like I was fine, it was really this moment of, like I never, I never felt like saying here meant anything other than like, here, yeah, that's what you say, you yeah. know, but in that moment it was really just one of those moments where I was like, I, I have things to do on this earth and that's why, like, I was spared and I'm wow. here. Wow, <laughs> I got chills <laughs> and I think... <laughs> I think I'm crying. What? <laughs> uh, I'm not crying. No. I don't know why that made me cry. I got chills when you said she hugged you. I know. That's so... Oh, man. Wow. And then the whole here... I didn't, I thought the story was over. And then you kept going. And then... Wow. 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 That... <laughs> that definitely is a story, and she is here. And I'm so glad that she is here, because if she wasn't, I wouldn't have met her. That's wow, cool. that is so amazing. So, yeah, okay. So we're going to regroup. <laughs> um, but did you have a brush with death in college, my college survivors? Share your stories. You can go to woodandnicholsmovie.com and post your responses. Please tell your friends about us. And we will see you next week on Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye-bye.